Hey guys, what's going on and uh, welcome back to Vade's Lockdown. So, uh, the reason you didn't get this last week is, uh, someone wasn't here. Hey. Um, but anyway, so we, we had last, at the literally last minute, I, we decided on Odyssey, um, to start that, I guess. We don't expect that soon because I want to get, um, uh, someone even commented, like, I thought you were going to do Galaxy first, which we are, um, but I just thought it would be interesting to start Odyssey, so. Either way, it was like a last minute decision anyway. Um, but that's why I didn't get it last week. Um, uh, so that's that's the reason behind that. The, uh, the reason I'm starting on this screen is because uh, I had to when, when I a long time ago when I went back because of the one the whole like oh your spawn points not clear or whatever. I went back and tried to fix all of them. So the 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 one they're going to be starting with today is actually on the first page. That's why I'm on this screen. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's a, we have the specialty mission, uh, which is what they're about to do right now, and then they have like one outpost after that. Um, and if you have not seen the last episode, they used the two guaranteed undetected that they had, which allowed them to essentially get 15 out of 15. So they have secured the bag, uh, so to speak, but they are still required to try and beat the outpost undetected. And at this point, you're fighting for pride. See how many uh, see how many outposts you can get. I lost track. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm talking about as a team, genius. So right now you have 15 outposts undetected. Uh, so let's see how far they can get uh, with that. So... Now, I don't remember who gave me the controller last. Um, I think I think uh, Zach gave it to me the first time. I don't remember if he did it again. No, because we did it like a thing where each of us got a chance to try. I don't remember. Yeah, but if I, Isabel started, then you would try, then you would have given me the controller. And if I Isabel the, started... I think I did the first... Here's what I think what happened. I started, like, the first two since, like, the first <coughs> one, I died in it. And then, yeah, then, Zach and then I gave Zachary the controller, then he died, then he gave you the controller on the second yeah, that was one. Zachary. That's when I, I started again because he technically he did, gave, yeah, me, he the gave me the controller. Yeah. So, technically so me, I would, or would yeah, I would be starting it. Yeah, she starts. Okay. Alright. Well, either way, um, I don't think it really matters as long as we remember it from here. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this this, this this one of the specialty missions. Um, I think it's the last one before... I think it's the last one before Jacob, actually. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Dang, uh, Jacob got short oh region. Boy. I mean, it makes sense. This was the shortest. Um, yeah, okay. All right. Here you go. Okay, okay. Um, now, of course, if you remember from John's boss fight, there should be an, uh, a fourth option now. Because, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. like I said, it's going to be continuing. That started in John's boss fight, but it's going to continue all the way through the game now. Um... Because obviously you're getting closer, um, and I believe I like it, it depends on what I'm. I, I think actually no, I think it's true. So now that you're getting closer to her, she's able to give you more powerful things. So I think in this one you're gonna actually have even more powerful things than you did with John's boss fight. So. Um, but yeah, so there's this one, and then there's gonna be an outpost right after this, um, which is gonna be. I think we're getting into the the really intriguing outposts, so to speak. So I mean they were kind of intriguing before, but. Like, even, like, right now, especially... How do I go back down to zero? Um, even now, I think it's going to be even crazier, so... It's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. Exactly, we were able to get 15 were, yeah, before good, then. Yeah, because most of the outposts we beat was, like, in the very beginning. I mean, you didn't. You somehow failed the first two, I think. Um, yeah, we failed the first two, then we went on a spree. Yeah. Getting them left and right. Got a little... <laughs> sprack. If, if you... Sprack. I don't know. I'm just creating words. We fa we had a s slunk. Right. Got stumped for a bit. Yeah, fate skip. Mm. Nerve Reaper. Interesting. Alright. So journey. Oh yeah, this is the first time you've done a journey. It was that an extraction. There's a yeti. It's a yeti. No, it's uh, it's just your normal average Joe. You know, it's perfectly fine. Like, it's actually the whole. Can I can I not bring out my binoculars? You don't have Why binoculars. Why do you need your binoculars? So I can get a closer look at the Mr. Yeti. You don't have binoculars. Oh well. You can just see him on the compass. Wow, are you a baby? I mean, I'm sure they're really strong, and I can. It's just a wanna... Yeti. Yeah, Yetis are pretty strong. You don't know that. Okay, they're two times they're two times my size, so I can already. Well, there's one right there, so you can test it out here. And a cheetah, jaguar, 
whatever the that is, they're also after you. No, they're not. Yeah, there are. Yeah, they are. If I just go a different way. Look behind you. Dang, maybe not. Nothing. Girl. Yeah, if I really have to, then I... If I really have to, I will fight them, but... Just to, like, save time, I'm not gonna do it. Save time? Time, there's time. no time mechanic. There's no time limit. As in, like, time... Because we're recording this, I don't want to take 15 years just to beat this thing. We're not going to take 15 years to do this. You never know. Look, there are actually people. They're in the woods. Ugh. Yeti! I should run. That thing's probably faster than you. Oh, there's a dude literally right next to you. Oh. Are you trying to do like a pacifist run here? It just says get to the X and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to. We don't want 15,000 people. I mean, I'm not saying to go back and kill them, but. I already passed it, so it's. There's You're really not no gonna point. be able to get. That's way too steep. Try going up that steep to your left. That's probably gonna be your best bet. There's a Yeti. There's also a Yeti right ahead of you. Just keep running, just keep running. You're jumping. <laughs> well, running and jumping. Like I said, there's a Yeti right ahead of you, so you're gonna need to do something about it. And it's easy. There's another Yeti. Get to the top! Well, you're not good because you're supposed to kill Yetis, so. I am. Here goes, Zach! You need to kill at least three to be able to get there. Oh. Well, at least we what got I, a What did I tell you? What did I tell you about being yeah, a there's, there's more than three Yetis, but it's your choice of which three you want to kill. Oh. But. You have to kill Yeti. You well, can't we just know the not path. kill him. There. I was gonna say you also should test out your other guns you have because she only used the shotgun. Yeah. Well, you probably know what that does. I'm talking about the space weapons. Oh, hold on one sec. Hey! That's, that's not the jump. That's not the jump one. Time. You because you, you didn't aim at all. That's probably why. Okay. Well, I can't take too long. Ah! You did, yeah, yeah. You kind of did, yeah. Hey, buddy. Okay. Break. Why? I'm running the same exact way! Yeah, 
Yeah, and they're faster than you. You already said that a little while ago. These things are stupid. No, no, you're just playing stupid. I'm literally running in a circle. I don't know what else you want me to do. Uh, not run in a circle. That'd probably help. I'm literally doing everything I can. I'm, I stop running in a circle. It keeps chasing me. What do you want me to do? Play better. That'd probably be my best option. This is stupid. What? There aren't even neonies in Far Cry 5. How'd you get one? There we go. Sheesh. Get out of here, you stupid piece of shit. Two more to go. That's only one. one. Get her try aiming here. for its- even though- even though it's kinda harder, try aiming for its head. Oh, I thought I did something cool. Alright, hold on. Oh, I might- I know, I know, I got the plan. This is the perfect plan, alright? This is the greatest it's a plan? Very good plan. You gotta get him through the trees. They, they're too freaking big to get through trees. You gotta run through trees to get them. Because like I said, they are way too big. Burr! Oh, buddy, one sec. That's a little rude. Wasting your bear will remember that. You're wasting your ammo on a freaking bear. Who the f cares? I'm literally the watch greatest you man. Watch you lose because okay, of so that. Okay, so yeah, Yetis, you just run through trees to kill them because they're too freaking big. Yeah, if they're, they're not massive. Bear! Oh look, another one. Oh look, three more. Wow, look at that. Is what's this? Uh, you have this grenade launcher. Get out of here. Oh, frick. So that's three, but... Can't kill these guys, so that way they're not in your way. Frick, it's reloading! I overused it. Just run to a forest, or where there's trees. Run in zigzags. Run in zigzags. They can't get you. Frick, that's it. Did I got jump scared? Got jump scared by a yay. A dead yay, mind you. Frick's reloading. One sec. Hold up. One sec. Thank you for your patience. Way downtown. Dang it. Well, great, now I got two yetis after me. What's better than one yeti? Two yetis. Smartest one of, out of all of them. He's big brain. Get wrecked, bozo. Okay. Are there any other Yetis? For Yeti hunters. No? Imagine doing this with the just the assault selection. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
No. There's two more Yetis up there. I can book it. No, I Hope you can just do what I did. But... Oh, well, well this guy. person? I don't care enough, they're not for Dang it! Dead. He's fucking dead. I see a bear, I don't see a person. The bear saw you. He's sounding, he's, he's pushing the alarm right now as we speak. Dang it, man! Yeah, flop Whee. around. Alright. Another one. Wow. Dead. Was I already wailing on him earlier? It's almost like you shot him in the head. Yeah, so headshots like head are. Fast. That's what I told you to do like five minutes ago. Shut up. She did, yeah, that's true. I told you to aim for the head since headshots do way more damage than body shots. Alright, so I got like seven yetis. Yeah. Speaking of one, I'll get this one. Sorry, buddy, you gotta go. Well, if you can aim, yes. Now you got three of them after you. This, this was a mistake. It's almost like you could've done what I done and book it. But I couldn't, he was literally right in front of me. That's, you go the other way. Literally couldn't, there's three yetis. Comes back alive, smacks you in the face. <laughs> wow. Turns into a giant Yeti boss fight. Alright. Gotta... Yeah, come on, man. You can make it. There's another oh, look, one. There's another one. Go over here and just go the other way and just book it. Can't do that, sorry. You can. You literally can. <laughs> If you just kept on running, right? How the frick did a hunter decide to show up out of nowhere, huh? He's been seeing you for like 27 minutes. Yeah, you killed him. Put two and two together, genius. Well, thank you. Alright. Sick backflip, bro. Alright, now we're good. 
you were good five minutes ago. No. Yes, no there's still yetis, okay? I'm not leaving until all the yetis are extinct. Well, you're missing two yetis, so. Well, I, those guys are fine. They can live. They can. Yeah, okay. They can restart the yeti population. There you go. Successfully escaped and killed the three yetis you needed to. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. Can't be a. But again, if you didn't have Faith's gift there. Oh. Because trust me, I tried doing it with just the assault pack or whatever. Nah. Yeah, I killed one and then was like, yeah, no, that's good enough for me. Because, uh, like, it, can't, it takes, because those, your your space guns have unlimited ammo. Uh, but the, the assault one doesn't have any space weapons. It's just, like, the classic thing with a pistol. Yeah. You, run, you, run, you, you run out of ammo killing just one of them. And I was resorted to using grenades to kill the, the, that same Yeti, so. Wow. Because um, they have, even with shooting them in the head, the space weapons do a lot of damage. That's why they, that's why I did, that's why you could, with just one clip, you could kill a Yeti if you shot him in the head all the time. Well, there we go. Yeah, sometimes in life, you gotta not be a little... And you gotta kill some yetis. That's the life lesson of the day. Kill yetis. Alright, so with uh, the yetis taken care of, the yeti population has been almost extinct. Zach missed two of them, so they're still going. They can still repopulate, but it's fine. Uh, he, he was able to escape. So now we move on to the summoning. The so, uh, summoning?! So, uh, remember, you're in the heart of Jacob's region now. Because, obviously, you were in bef before you were, uh... Like, in the in, outskirts. In the, in the outskirts of it, but now you're in the heart of it. Um, Great. So, uh, yeah. And the, these outposts get pretty intense, so we'll see what happens. So, that means it's about starting this one, because Zach was finished the other one. And, uh, let's see if they can get 16 out of 15 in this episode. We'll see. Uh, like I said, they're playing for Pride as a team now, so they can see how many they can get total. Team? We're a team? Yeah, that's kind of the point. It looks like we've been working together to get undetected ever no, since Path to Glory, but you've always been wanting the, the pride for yourself. No one told me that! Yeah. Did he get the memo? He got, he got the memo. I did not get the memo. He got the memo. Must have been thrown into my joke mail. No. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's see how many they can get, I believe, because this is episode number... This is number 16. 16. Yeah. Well, it doesn't help me, because Jacob... I'm trying to figure out what number Jacob's mission is. It's got to be around like 35 or something. So either way, we're, there's, there's still a good amount of uh, outposts left. So we'll see if they can... Uh, I mean, obviously they keep getting harder. So we'll see if they can get um, 15 out of 16 in this episode. But we'll see in general at the end of the series. We'll see how much they actually got in total. Because I'll, I'll still be keeping track of how much they get total. Because uh, I think it's going to be interesting to find out um, how many outposts they got out of how many outposts there actually were. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, well, after this episode, we'll only have nine more videos left of... Face lockdown, period. Sounds about right. Because we have 50 total missions <clears throat> and two per episode. That's 25 episodes. Oh, this is episode oh, 16. That is a giant beacon of light going straight to the yep. sun. That's not the sun. Also, you should look behind you. You've been doing it for the past 20 years and you haven't done oh. it. Our plane crashed! Nice. It's not a plane. Our helicopter crashed! You want to see the sun? You should look up. Oh. Yes. Very interesting. This is a very interesting environment we're in, guys. It's happening to it. What's going on with the sun? Oh, it got hotter. It's drying up the earth! How the f- <clears throat> Is he doing that? I think this guy turning red is a bigger issue. <laughs> yeah, it's not- Screw that, our water! It's supposed to be blue! How are we not all dead by now, at this point? Wouldn't this, like, have massive repercussions on our health? Nope. <clears throat> Guess not. <clears throat> at least not in the Far Cry 5 universe. The FC5CU, if you will. FC5CU. Sounds like the worst name for anything. Or just the FCCU, the Far Cry Cinematic Universe. That's definitely it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is all intertwined. P Pagan's probably eating his crap rangoon somewhere. No, let me get you. Thanks. There's a 
do to buy the alarm. Oh, I, I got I, I again. What the f*** are you doing? I thought I pulled out my camera. No, you didn't! What the f*** are you doing? I kind of did not pay attention. That was on me. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's heavy, guys. <laughs> what the f***? That's a me thing to do. Come that on. is a Zachary thing You're to do. You're supposed to raise our IQ average, not lower it. That's my job. Well, that was on I'm me. I, I kind of thought decisions. I... I don't know why I thought I had my camera out, but hey. Oh, oh whatever. Uh, it's very, very sad. Very sad indeed. Hey, guys. I'm going to go in and shoot this gun. If I survive, I... <laughs> no. Yeah, I'd like to see you do it. Talking so big over yourself. Yeah, well, I'm actually not stupid. You are stupid. We have many videos to prove that. Where the f*** do these guys go? You got like. You, it's almost like it's people. almost like she uh, scouted immediately. You decided to run to the bottom part of the map and then scout. It's almost like having the high ground is an advantage. Yeah, who's the stupid one? I'm now? like shut the. F you shot your gun in the middle of f***ing nowhere. Actually, in the middle of everything. Oops. At least I scoured out people. Oh yeah, you were able to do the basic f***ing assignment. You were able to do that. Admittedly, I forgot. Shut up. You still shot- you did the rule number one, don't f***ing shoot in the middle of nowhere. It's where everyone can hear you. Alright, that's the most people I can get. I'll probably find more. That's how it goes. WHERE THE f***? The sniper. It's his job to look at that. It's fine, I'm behind a tree. You can't see me. He can see you. And he's, on, and he's going back, and so... And the triangle man's out. I was like, I think I see a person standing behind that tree over there. Let's throw a bomb at it! Yeah, let's no. grenade him. Let's, let's get the motor, guys. Let's do the Henry Stickman test, where you throw it, where you put it on... Uh, set the tree on fire. It's fine. There's no one here. There's abs absolutely no one, okay? I just go back to what you're doing. I, I will lure you. I will do it. Don't try me. Don't f***ing try me! You wanna f***ing go? You wanna f***ing try me? Stop being stupid. Um, I he f and asked for it. If I get detected, I don't even care anymore. He asked for it. He f and asked for this one. He asked for it. You said it already. So, so trying now, to act cool, you're not. He's gonna get it. You deserve that one. That'd be a lesson to you. Hey, hey, hey. Did I say you could look at me? No, no, I didn't. He's doing his job. Did I say you could do your job? No. So stop doing your job. Stop hey. trying to act He's cool. He's not gonna listen to you. And you're Go not cool. Go get a cool. donut or something. Your commentary sucks, by the way. I would work on that. At least I have commentary. Yeah, and it's pretty bad commentary. At least it is commentary. Yours is saying nothing. It says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a sniper, by the way. I, I did talk, but I did talk five seconds ago. So you can't, you, your point is not, you, you don't have, you can't yeah, really yeah, prove yeah, your yeah, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something. Nice. Nice. Why did you look? Nice. This is a great strategy, guys. This is so great. They're gonna get the one. The no! No, you did it. Screw you. Dang it. The f is that thing? It's a beacon. Dang. It's not a beacon. Not everything that glows is a beacon. Ah, I'm on fire. Old man! Old man Jenkins! Who gave old man Jenkins a gun? Oh, hey, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> they killed his teammate. Where the frick? Where the frick did you come from? Who the f is shooting? Get out of here. Ow! Dang it. Nice strategy, by the way. <laughs> I didn't think you would turn around. I, I probably should have gone for him, if anything. Nice. So mind you. Yep. 
That is way too useful. What the fuck was that? They saw a body. Cool. They're screaming. Well, don't I don't care about the body right now. They're out looking for you. Okay. I, oh well. Okay, you're good. Just like something. I just I thought that they were on the same level. You you're fine. That's not that is gonna take way too long. Yeah. I think they were here if I punch it. So I'm gonna leave it alone. It's the VIP. I know. So they took over this like research facility put their beaker because there's a bunch of like dead scientists they overtook it Since his friend left, that's a little bit. I gotta throw one more. You can't. Oh, I can't. He can't the, guy, the heavy isn't gonna be able to see you. A little too late now. Now you can throw more. You can't throw three that quickly because then they get suspicious. If you throw three, like in intervals, they don't care. Yeah. But if you threw, if you threw in them, he would have been like, "Okay, I've heard something," and then the, his friend would have been like, "Oh, there's someone around here." Wait for him to turn around. Now you're good. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, we want to quickly move. Quick. Just move him behind this box. Like right here is good. So now we're gonna want to deal with that guy more quickly. He's gonna see the body. He's gonna come near. He's gonna come near the body. Get him now, get him now. Slide, slid, I slid accidentally on. slid. Okay. How are you accidentally pressing buttons? I don't understand. You guys have been playing this game for like a long time now. I know. When you run, just so you know, when you run, you uncrouch. When you yeah. run, you automatically uncrouch. Because, you know, that's how real life works. Yeah, you know. I, I, I know, but be quiet. Well, that's... Yeah, whenever something like that happens, yeah, that's what's on... best to do. Stick near done... the body, hidden, and then you kind of need to just bum rush them before they're... Because they'll have a moment where they're like, Whoa! Oh, no. Yeah. Not Jimmy. Jimmy. Get this move! I hated Jimmy. But anyway. Yeah. So that's kind of what you need to do with that. Yeah. I gotta get the sniper next. It's not a sniper. Or, or whoever he is. Rocket launcher, dude. Yeah, whatever. There's also a heavy, like right down there under that hill. Right where your gun's at. Oh, yeah. Could do him next, actually, once. Uh... You still have two people missing somehow, so just be cautious. Get that sniper, you'd probably need to empty out the room, and wait yeah, for the sniper to, like... to go to the other side of the bridge. I don't know if they hear ladders, but... Hear ladders. Like, if they hear you climbing up ladders. If they don't hear a giant metal hook like, attaching to yeah, a grapple so point, why would, would they hear a ladder? So you would need to wait for that sniper to walk to the uh, into the far end of the guy in the box. Guy in the box, he's left. Guy in the box. That's two left. Let's talk about that box right there. Oh, that 
the sniper. It was a sniper. I, I thought it was something new, my bad. Stop doing that. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep you aware, because sometimes you don't see those things. And then you die. I don't like you doing this. Where'd that body go, actually? Disappeared. He came back to life. It's those pair of snipers. I know. Home. I I literally looked at them. Well, you just well you're standing there like a deer in headlights, as if you don't hide behind the tree. All right, you're you're behind the building now. You're fine. This guy is off on a journey. He's trying to find the water. Yeah, he needs some water. He's a, he's a little thirsty. He's a little parched. Sorry, buddy. No drinking on the job. Okay. So, the sniper could be a viable option. The only problem... Actually, how many heavies are there now? Um, that we know of. None. There, none of none, the guys that we have are be, but heavies, both... but the two guys could be heavies. Yeah. So you have an RPG folk, and two RPGs, two snipers, and a VIP that you, we know of. That sniper might be a little risky. You might want to... You... Well, he's moving away now, so... You might be able to get him behind that cage. Yeah. Yeah, now now it's good. You could also... You, no. Yeah, just, just go. I'm just, just kidding. gonna do like... Yeah. Just get him. Alright, he's good. VIP just stays inside the building. Those two snipers never leave their positions. There's the ladder the sniper that just walks across the two build, walks across that catwalk, and then this, and then the roof sniper, which would be your biggest threat for this guy. Or white shirt guy. You never know. Yeah, the white shirt guy. <laughs> All right, you don't, I wouldn't bother. I'm just gonna move it a bit farther so that this guy doesn't see me. If he was looking at back. you, you would have you would have been dead. But well, when he turns back, he may see me. I'm just gonna hide behind this. Yeah, guy. I'm just saying that that was pretty risky because if he was looking dead at you, you were dead. Nice downward dog, buddy. <clears throat> All right, I'd say the VIP would be next. Also, just in case you do this, that kills you if you go too close to that. So don't go. Good to don't go near it. Well, you'd have to be right on top of it for it to hurt you. But I'm just saying, don't get, don't and try to investigate and be like, ooh, what's this shiny thing? We're gonna have to wait for him to go, like, to the... What? You could also just go oh, around like... the building and just rock lure him. Or, heck, you can do it right here. I don't care. You can use rocks against us. You can use rocks on a VIP. Yeah. You don't have to go up to them. You can bring them to you. Yeah. That's too far. You could move to that corner on, on that opening. And also, so the. Well, actually. You can honestly probably do it behind that. Behind here, as long as the sniper's in position to where he won't hear or see you. Because neither of the snipers can see you. It's just a matter of hearing you, I think. Yeah. Probably just two people that walked off into no into no man's land. No, I think I know where they are. What are they in the American? Well, Eagles I knew or? where they spawned. I don't know if they walked somewhere, but I know where they spawned. Uh, I was about to say rocks would probably make, would probably alert the snipers too, which could throw off their mojo. So yeah. that actually kind of worked. So for the for the sniper, you're gonna have to get up and. Because the way this guy works, he's not going to hear you going flatter, but he's, he walks to two ends. I would go when he's going that way towards that sniper. Like over here? No, the other way. Oh. When he's facing that, that way, and once he passes you. Now. Well, wait a little bit, wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Now. Stay low. 
get him. Nice. Get your sniper. There's more up. Walk right by that light. There you go. Isabel, you're right on it. There we go. Nice. And I could just snipe him once he gets into the open. Like right here? Yeah. So like now? Nice. Now you can go now... onto the roof and then scout out the other two. Two people. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> oh, there's also grapple there. Yeah. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your tree hunting, dude, but your time's coming. Yeah, he spawned near the tower, so it doesn't make sense why he would walk over here. Yeah. Why aren't you running? <laughs> There's no music. No, no one's just gonna magically see you. I can promise you. Music. Yeah, so the, the, it's the it is who I thought it was. They're not behind you. There's no music behind you, so there's no point in looking behind you. So it's the two guys that were near the tower. They just walked in separate directions. Oh. And my when I was testing it, they had done the same type of thing. But because I took because I went to the left immediately and didn't take my sweet old time, I killed them all through, all near the tower. So I didn't have to do this. I think there was one guy that was on the left side that I did search for, but that was it. Because I set points for them to go to, but they don't have to listen to them. Because there's no points over here. I never put them this far. There's obviously somewhere on the perimeter. Because they're supposed to be guarding the perimeter. But Right up there in the mountain. Yep. Just shoot them. Who, who cares? Just shoot them. Zoom. They're one shot, the, the other guys aren't. Undetected, there you go. Um, so that's gonna, that's gonna do it. So they got they managed to get undetected, even though they had a very interesting starts to that, um, to that outpost there. Well, I thought it was, I thought it wasn't that bad. Uh, oh, it was, it was pretty, pretty terrible. Bad. Oh, it was pretty terrible, yeah. Pretty terrible. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. So I'll probably be cutting out at least, uh, 20 minutes of visible just walking around doing nothing. Um. I was looking. I was scouting. Yeah, crouching as slow crouching. As yeah, as everywhere. Well, um, one guy left. No, I'm talking. Even when there's two left, yeah, he was crouching yeah, before. Yeah, two them. people left. He was um, crouching. Oh, I got to be so sneaky. So with that map, there's there's kind of two ways to go about it. Uh, there's one where you prioritize the sniper, and there's one where you don't. These guys did where they didn't prioritize the sniper. They prioritized killing everyone, a majority of people first. The one where you go by the sniper is it's very risky, but you can do it. Um, and it actually makes the end game a lot easier um, if you if you can manage to get past the beginning. So the beginning is you kill the tower guys, the sniper, what they did before, but then you immediately go to kill the inside guys, oh, yeah, uh, the which guys is the heavies, the things, yeah, well, like that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, go get the and then you do exactly what Isabel did, which is like you wait for the guy to walk to the where the dead scientist is, and you uh, grab the sniper. I, I I just grab the sniper and just shoot him right there and there. I don't even waste time trying to w w waiting for him to try and turn around and stuff. Um, so then, once you do that, then you just go, you kill a sniper on the roof, and then you shoot basically everyone you can, which you're left with like four or so heavies, and then uh, you go down and just uh, kill them as you normally would. Uh, and you don't worry about bodies, because bodies is honestly not a thing you need to be worrying about in that situation. 
Um, so there you go. So yeah, there's, there's two ways to go about it. They went, obviously, the more safer approach, uh, which is just getting rid of everyone and then getting the sniper at the last minute uh, to, keep, to pick off a couple people. Um, and then, like I said, the other one is a lot more risky, but it makes the end game a little easier. You don't, you, want, you wouldn't have had to go around searching for the last couple people because they wanted off somewhere. Um, but again, it's it, like they, they went for the more safer approach because I would have been concerned if they had tried to do the... Because I had done the approach where you go in the middle and you check for things, but that's very risky. It, it, I failed a couple times just because the, the VIP decided to turn around one time. I think the sniper, the if you're far enough away, the sniper, can the one that's on the catwalk, he will, because the catwalk's, it's not like a solid thing. They can see through that. If he's by the scientist and you're over on the far side that he's walking to, he can see you. I failed I failed one of those times too. Isabel was just out of the line of sight, so he wouldn't have seen her. But if she was a little bit further back, he would have seen her. Um, I failed one time one time doing that. I failed one time because the um, I killed the guy. So if you kill the guy on the right side of the catwalk, the sniper up top can actually see you do that if he's in the same area, which Makes unfortunately sense. he saw. So yeah, there's a couple times. So that one's very risky to do that. Um, but it's, uh, it does make the end game a lot easier. But uh, yeah, it's going to do it. So next episode, they're going to be doing two more outposts. And like I said, we're in the crux of Jacob's region. Jacob is the next... Uh, well, Jacob's boss fight is the next uh, special mission they're going to be doing. So uh, he's he's going to die. Maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, on the left, you can check out the Far Cry 5 uh, Fates Lockdown playlist. It's going to have all of our uh, Fates Lockdown related stuff in it. Then on the right, check out the main game, Far Cry 5, uh, where we did the story and everything. It's really good. We also did New Game Plus to see some extra stuff we missed and uh yeah so you check that out over on the right and then if you like the content you're seeing please consider subscribing trying to press every series we can next up luke man because luke is luigi and no one likes no true loses anything be white shirt guy i mean that's really it's all you gotta yeah, say there seriously yep pretty much uh, boring screws everything up in the end you know that's how it works um but uh, yeah check the podcast i mean friends out it's called the brokers you can check us out wherever you get your podcast and then check out the merch store all the way in the bottom description has a, cool, a bunch of cool stuff in it and uh yeah it's gonna do it so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time